Hello, in this video we will see how we can add a column in an existing database table uh, by using MySQL Workbench. So sometime we are having the database and we need to add existing column. So suppose we are uh, need to have a extra column in visitor table. Let's see what's the current tables right now this table have. So right now this table have these columns like user ID, email, DOB, phone, KT date, OTP, OTP valid, gender and nothing. And now we need to add one more column to this existing table. So let's see how we can do this. So uh, if we need to browse the existing database, we just need to click on this. Suppose we need to add the column, we need to click on this icon here if we hover a table now this will be a, there will be icon appear like this one if we click on here you will see the overall table structure like here and uh, we can easily uh, easily be customize it its view so we can easily uh, check the overall col column names here so this is all the column name with their valid data types so we need to have another column so what we need to do we need to click on the last empty row here okay so last empty row here when we click on it uh, then there will be a pair of text box to enter the column name so let's create another column like like login date so in this column we will save the uh, date of the login okay so and in the data type I just choose the required data type in my case that will be date time okay so this is all what we need to do so basically after adding the column here in this particular uh, location uh, right now the database is not modified in any way to get this modification done what we need to do we need to click on here apply so when we click on apply an automatic uh, SQL query will uh, created and if we click on apply again this particular uh, query will gets uh, executed so when I click on apply we need to wait for a few seconds to get this affected as you can see it's completely it's completed complete so now we just need to click on finish and if we close this table and just browse this uh, table data again you can see now we are having an another column in the top right side that is login date that we require to enter so in this video uh, this concept is covered how we can add extra column in MySQL workbench basically it's a little bit confusing if you are coming from the PHP my admin background then uh, that's a little bit uh, strange to know how we can add a column so I think you understand the concept if you are having any question just let me know in the comment I will be happy to help you out okay thank you